Just a quick note before this free video. If you click like and subscribe, I'd be very thankful. We get a recap of Dusty Rhodes' tumultuous year. He feuded with Gary Hart, won the world title from Harley Race, lost it to Ric Flair. Let's recap the Dusty Kabuki situation. Mm. Which leads to Bill Watts throws it to a, a Bill Watts package. He's recapping this feud that goes back to 1974, talking about tri Chinese traditions of getting somebody to fight for you. We get a Gary Hart great Kabuki promo on Dusty, claiming that Kabuki is, you call Kabuki an assassin. He is not an assassin. He's a mercenary. <laughs> yeah. Is that... I think being an assassin would be more intimidating than being a mercenary, but mm -hmm. I don't know, man. He did have a great line where he says, Dusty Rhodes, if you dream that you beat the great Kabuki, I want you to wake up, look in the mirror, and apologize to yourself. <laughs> that was great. So, Cowboy Bill explains that Kabuki's religious beliefs cause him to paint his face and show the kind of emotion... So Dusty Rhodes has matched him, and here is Dusty Rhodes painted for war. Yes. This made the whole hour worth it, even though I've seen it way before. Mm -hmm. I, I gotta say that he, he did two promos in this show, one in paint and one not in paint, okay? Mm -hmm. And the one that he did in paint, they did like a real close-up of his face, mm -hmm. so you could like only see, you know, you didn't see his body or, or even his hair or anything. You just saw a real close-up of his face to show the paint. I'm watching, I'm like, he looks exactly... Like Dustin Rhodes. Yes. Like fucking exactly like him. And then, you know, about five minutes later, he does a, another promo without the face paint, and he looks exactly like Dusty Rhodes. But man, when he had that when he had that paint on and they did that close up, I was like, God damn, fucking spitting image of Dustin. So the gimmick here, if you don't know, Apocalypse Now had recently come out. And this was Dusty doing a parody of uh uh, Marlon Brando in Apocalypse Now. Well, it was also a takeoff on Kabuki's face paint. Oh, that too, yes. But uh, the, the, the the reason Dusty sounds different here than every other Dusty Rhodes promo you ever saw is, is he's imitating Marlon Brando. Mm -hmm. So he asks, are you an assassin? Are, are you, you a soldier? A are you an assassin? <laughs> are you a soldier? Did he ask if he was a mercenary? No. Are you a, uh, are you a mercenary? But he did ask, I think, are you an errand boy? I think you're an errand boy. He stops. He says, Kabuki? War! And he promises the end of Gary Hart, the end of Kabuki. I am the assassin this time. This ruled. I don't it care was, how many it times was I see this. Great. It, it never was gets quite old. quite great. Yeah. So then Bill Watts says, Dutchie Rhodes wants a bunkhouse match. Mid-South will not sanction this match, but it will happen. So go by, take and see it. And then we get a normal Dusty Rhodes promo. Just It's a Dusty Rhodes promo hyping up the Buckhouse match where he says, The American Dream gonna boogie on your noggin. I like the uh, Apocalypse Now promo better. I don't know. Boogie on your noggin sounds pretty good. So, Watson. I'm going lists. to boogie on your noggin. That's what he said. Mm -hmm. It's not as dance. intimidating as mercenary or assassin. A dance on your head. A boogie on your yeah. noggin. Uh, we recap the Ted DiBiase Paul Orndorff, Bob Roop, Saga. So many twists and turns and titles won and yeah, lost. It sure, a lot of twists and turns in this one, let me tell you. Yeah. So yeah. Roop eventually turns on DiBiase. We're back in Jackson, Mississippi now for Ted DiBiase versus Paul Orndorff. The very first thing they show is a bot spot. Oh, yeah. It was crazy. They're like running <laughs> yeah. the ropes, and then DiBiase is supposed to do a leapfrog, but they fuck it up, and he falls on him. Yeah. And I was like, you couldn't have started this clip Five three seconds, seconds, seconds later. later. <laughs> you had to show the fucked up spot. So uh, we have Bill Watts randomly switching back and forth between DiBiase and DiBias. Yes. Back and forth. Sean points... Better than DiBias. You got me there. Speaking there... Uh, Who did the guy up, that hijacked that plane? What? D.B. Cooper. Oh. Oh, yeah. It's not DiBias. <laughs> and, and he didn't hijack the plane. Oh, I can see. He hijacked the plane. He hijacked the plane. He did. Then he, it, then was, he it was out. definitely a hijack. Then he yeah. jumped out, yes. Oh, he yeah. dove out of it, too. Right. Although, you know, during that period that he hijacked that plane, like, that's a, that's a very famous case... But, like, in that period in the 70s, it was like there were 175 fucking hijackings a year or something. Like, an absolutely crazy number. There was a hijacking, like, nearly every single fucking day. But, you know, because he, he got away with it. It's like a... Did he, though? Well, yeah. We don't know. Yeah, that's true. We don't know. He could be on a beach in Mexico right now. 
given that he he didn't get that much money i mean it was probably, probably could do that beach in mexico for a couple of years and then kind of go back to hijack and planes yeah, you invest your money wise thank you for watching make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button and you'll never miss a video again